Here is the young lady you've been waiting for. May I first announce, though, tonight, and it's important because these are plugs, that her hair was done by sticking her finger in the wall plug. <laughs> her clothes are usually by Oscar, not of the Waldorf, they're Oscar Levance. And uh, here it is, Phyllis Diller. because you just uh, made a big scene over a genuine French original. Honestly, really, it's a genuine French original. It was de Gaulle's nightgown. <laughs> <laughs> now, people just don't realize how hard I try to look gorgeous. And listen, that bit about the socket, that's not true. I, actually, I went today to the scalp clinic again. Practically live there. It's all the old bald men. <laughs> and today they told me that the hair on the top of my head is so thin, the part is on the roof of my mouth. <laughs> then he gave me a toothbrush and told me to comb my hair. I got a lot of problems. If skirts get any shorter, I'm gonna have to have my legs fixed. <laughs> they don't go all the way up. of course that I wear these mad moo-moos to cover a lot of problems. <laughs> you know, I'm the woman who used to think middle-aged spread was a cocktail dip. <laughs> and I am actually a Slenderella reject. They simply wouldn't take me. They said they weren't gonna be in business that long. <laughs> but I've compensated, you wouldn't believe it. I go to a pool every day and I wear a bikini. <laughs> It's scary, isn't it? <laughs> or as I wear it over an old raincoat. <laughs> <laughs> I was there today. I was doing the Australian <coughs> crawl. It's a beautiful stroke. My husband comes over. He says, you idiot. Get in the pool. <laughs> news, I can't do it in the pool. <laughs> I learned to do it in the grass, that's where I always do it. <laughs> Who do you think taught me to do it in the grass? <laughs> I can't do it in the pool. I tried in the pool once, I darn near drowned. My raincoat fills up. But I exercise, I go to the scalp, oh, the scalp clinic, I, I gotta tell you what they told me. They said to stand on my head so that blood would go to the top. Well, you know, they think that's gonna grow hair on your head. So for a month, I stood on my head all the time. That's all I did, a whole month, I felt like a silly thing. It caused a lot of trouble too. I don't look too good sent on my head. <laughs> so you know what I got for one month of standing on the head? Dandruff on my feet. <laughs> but you know, uh, I am better off than Fang's sister, Captain Bly. Because <laughs> if I had a choice, I'd rather be uh, a little too... Uh, I don't know what to call it, I'm built. All I know is if I was put together by mother nature, God is a litter bug. <laughs> she's got the funniest dimension. She's skinny broad, very skinny. She, her dimensions, well, she says she's a perfect 36. <laughs> 12, 12, and 12. <laughs> Unbelievable, she is actually happy when she gets a mosquito bite because then she has a figure. <laughs> She 
she stables a bra on it. <laughs> She's stable. Halloween, she wore a gold lame dress to a party. She took first prize. They thought she'd come as a zipper. <laughs> she wears a spinners to hold up her girdle. <laughs> And of course, you know, I, uh, I try to get away from all these people. My relatives are all, oh, they're so out of their heads. And then, of course, I got the, well, my father's senile. Oh, gee. Every time there's a knock on the door, he says, oh, dear, the Indians. <laughs> and then my mother, she's a little out of it, too. She's frugal, very frugal. She saves dishwater. <laughs> Explain to her, we can get more. <laughs> She'd be great in New York right now with her. I should move her in here. She could be a lot of help. And then, of course, uh, she, but she, the worst thing she does, she sits in the kitchen most of the day, my mother, and kills flies with a hammer. <laughs> of course, you know, my husband, Fang, he won't come into the kitchen at all because he's afraid of rats. <laughs> now and then he comes in at noon because he knows they eat out. <laughs> But then I'm so far behind in my ironing, and then I'm busy with the, the newlyweds next door. They bore me to death. Oh. When he leaves in the morning, you'd think he was leaving for World War III. <laughs> oh, he kisses her. Yuck. I never get to see it all because my binoculars steam up. <laughs> One day I asked Fang, my husband, I said, why don't you do that? He said, heavens, I haven't even met her. <laughs> and then of course we got a lot of phonies in the neighborhood. There's uh, people a little bat behind us who've got a Cadillac painted on the side of their house. <laughs> but those newlyweds, they bother me worse than I do because she is so, well, are you ready? She scrubs her floor by candlelight. <laughs> in a topless apron. <laughs> you know, I made a big mistake. I, when those things first came out, I wore one of those topless suits to the beach. <laughs> it took me 20 minutes to get arrested. <laughs> For parking in front of a hydrant. <laughs> All the time he's writing the ticket, he's calling me Mac. <laughs> he took me down to the station. They didn't even book me. Said there was insufficient evidence. <laughs> First then, I'm always trying to uh, encourage Fang. That's my husband. He went to the dentist the other day. The dentist told him he's got the worst set of tooth he ever saw in his life. <laughs> he wanted me to drive him on a business trip. He wanted to go down to the unemployment office. <laughs> oh, get ready. He was going to ask for a raise. <laughs> hey, you know, my driving is very bad. I admit it. I'm trying. I'm doing my best. I, oh, dear. I just flunked another driving test. In fact, I got two, two tickets on my written test. <laughs> and Fang makes me nervous when I'm in the car with him because he wears a parachute. <laughs> and I could never, that day I couldn't get anything started. Well, I, I take that back. I got the windshield wiper going very good. <laughs> oh, it was going, going, beautiful. Of course, it's no good. Oh, well, the windshield wiper's no good. It works, but it's on the inside. <laughs> the only time that wiper could do us any good is if we'd lost our rear window and we're backing through a blizzard. <laughs> but, you know, flunking that, I just flunked my 10th consecutive test, and uh, I got right in front of the judge right away. They take me down to the place. I hate it. And he said it was the worst case of hit and run he'd ever seen in his life. He thought I was the victim. <laughs> And then uh, they brought in this stretcher with this guy, and I said, now this guy's faking, he's not that badly hurt. Then they brought in the other stretcher with the rest of him. Oh. <laughs> 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 so then I demanded that the judge find out why this man had made no effort, whatever, to get out of my way. <laughs> he 
He said he was swimming. <laughs> Couldn't matter less to me. I got marine insurance on my car. <laughs> Thank God for group insurance. Last month, I ran over a whole group. 